this is an ultrasound study of a 18 year old young female unmarried, a student presenting with the severe pain in the lumbar region. She came with the uh, complaint of uh, lumbar region pain. However, what we see is that this is the uterus in the transfer section and this is the endometrial canal measuring 9.3 in late proliferative phase. This is the ovary and this is the dominant follicle. This wedge-shaped area black is the fluid and this area, rounded area that you are seeing in this view is uh, in fact a cystic a cyst and the cyst is large enough with uh, internal septals see I'm now I am showing you only sept, uh, the cyst okay let's go with the uterus in longitudinal section now you see that uh, Here you are seeing the uterus in longitudinal section. This is the uterus in longitudinal section. And uh, a little exaggerated measurement. Uh, 7.0, 3.7. And there are two cystic components seen in the pelvic region. One is this one, second is this one. Now, this is the urinary bladder, C is shaped, and this is the cyst. And you can see dependent region echoes in it. Another uh, tip is that you ask the patient to micturate, and you will see which one will be the urinary bladder will disappear. So this will disappear and this will remain. You can see the posterior wall enhancement, a strong back wall, uh, the, and this extends. Oh, and you can see internal septas, multiple X, Y, complete, incomplete, thick and thin. All type of septas are seen along with its posterior wall lateral wall and it extends up to approximately little below the epigastric region. However, if we try to get its uh, calculated volume, uh, then the volume is Now the, it measures 15.8, rather I'll go by equal numbers, that is 16 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 10 centimeter and with an approximate volume of 718 uh, cc in this image, but and surgical intervention is, will going to be performed, the removal will show it to be more than uh, 700, maybe 800 cc uh, is seen. Now I can see the right ovary with follicle. This is the right ovary. This is the dominant follicle in this cycle. This is the uh, transfer section of the uterus, same fluid, the cyst in transfer section. See the debris, this dependent region debris. The septal with the there are more uh, with the right lateral wall of the of the cystic area. And now you, we don't see the uh, left ovary 
and there's most probably this is the left ovarian cyst and that is uh, cyst adenoma see uh, mucinous cyst adenoma will be the most probable diagnosis this is the debris the septa the outer surface is smooth the posterior wall enhancement can be seen this is the idea of this one as a landmark for the identification of the or ovary uh, and uh, it expands in the midline here uh, up to the umbilicus and uh, then so from the left head in exa this cystic mass extends in the midline up to the umbilical region and above it. No calcification is seen in this, no solid element is seen though. So therefore the most probable diagnosis in this case would be serous or mucinous cyst adenoma in a young unmarried female aged 18 years. Thank you very much.